Today's video, I mean, it's gonna be just like every other video, but I've mentioned this, I feel like now a lot recently, but I've been really, really struggling with my mental health pretty much since my one year anniversary of being diagnosed with type 1 diabetes happened. Ever since then, it's like the sense of doom that I can't shake off and I'm realizing it's depression and that's why it's not shaking off um and this past week was really bad i just like no motivation no energy no joy a lot of crying i would wake up and just cry i would go to bed crying I was like stuck in what me and Brie and Maddie call a red zone, which is where I was just like mad and angry. And like, I don't really often feel anger like that. Like I'm really not an angry person. I would consider myself more like a sad person. Like if I feel anything, it's sadness, not usually anger. Even in situations where like other people are like, oh, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, I'm not mad, I'm just sad. You know, like that's like usually how I am. But I was angry like all week just like mad and I, I like I canceled everything well that's not true I went to some work events that were later at night dreadfully and I had like zero social battery and the whole time I was there I was like in a panic mode where I was like I felt like claustrophobic it was just it was anxiety but I was like oh my god if I don't get out of here right now like I'm going to blow up like I didn't even know like literally like my I felt like my body was gonna com combust like not like I'm gonna blow up but, like start punching people like I felt like oh my god get me out of here and normally I don't really feel like that like even on the days where I don't feel social like I don't feel like that I'm I I'm an introvert as in like I, I like to stay home I'm like a homebody but I'm very outgoing and I like public settings like that you know like in moderation and this past week I was just like I, I couldn't do it like I, I normally I'm also not someone who like even if I am feeling like not super social I can pretend like I am I didn't even have that in me I was sitting in silence like head down like not head down but like just not speaking the bare minimum like I would answer if I was spoken to but I just felt so out of it and I just it was bad I canceled therapy which is like what's the point like that I do therapy because I'm feeling this way but that's I just was so everything was just so off I canceled therapy I had a task rabbit that was supposed to come I canceled my task rabbit because I couldn't like fathom having to like speak to a task rabbit like what I just had like the worst week ever and it was like every little thing kept going wrong like I, my hair oil fell off my shelf yesterday and shattered how like i was nowhere near it it just shattered like just a bunch of stupid stuff like i just kept dropping everything that was in my hand and it was just like sending me over the edge like i just like was getting so just like mad and it was all week long all week long and i just like it was so much. I didn't, I barely left my couch. I just like, I felt like I couldn't even speak because I was just like, <clears throat> like just so not okay. And I really don't want to feel that way. So today I am trying to get myself out of the rut I've been in. I know I can't 
cure my depression per se, but I just want to try to have a better day and end off my week right because it's Friday and I woke up feeling okay. I also haven't been sleeping well, like at all. And last night I got a decent night's sleep, the best night's sleep that I've had in a very long time, like at least a couple weeks. And so that felt nice. So I started the day like on the right side of the bed and I went on a long walk this morning to get coffee. I walked there, I actually woke up late, which like kind of stressed me out, but I needed that sleep so bad that I was like very gentle with myself just being like, it's okay. And when I mean late, it's because I mean like I had plans to go to get coffee at like 8.30 and I woke up at 8.30 and so I didn't end up going to like 9.30. I had to change my insulin pump this morning and everything like that, but I was like pretty gentle with myself, so that's good. Because on another day, I would have woken up and like actually spiraled because of that. But <laughs> I um, did my normal walk, and then we couldn't stay for long because my girlfriend's couch is getting delivered today, so she had like a delivery window, so which is why we were going early because we like to sit there and like chat every morning, but. We stayed for like 10 minutes and then I walked back but on my way I just like went up a few more roads than I normally do and just to like just to walk I was listening to a podcast and I ended up adding on like two miles to my walk which is crazy like it wasn't even I wasn't doing it like to get more miles in I was just doing it because it felt nice like my walks have been like how I clear my head recently and it just felt really nice and i came home and i did a workout and lately i got ankle weights recently i don't know why i've never had ankle weights but lately i've just been doing like a lot a lot a lot of mat pilates because that's just what my body's been like asking for i feel like like i've just been not feeling like very motivated to work out but working out does make me feel better mentally and it helps my blood sugar and when my blood sugars are good then I also feel better mentally so I really try to still push myself to work out although I will say there's been a lot of days recently a lot more than usual where I have no motivation to do anything at all but I've been doing my best to still stick with that because despite how hard it is to like get the motivation I still know and recognize that like I do feel significantly better when I just get a little bit of movement in and lately all I've really been capable of doing is not Pilates but I don't even want to say capable of doing because it's so hard but it feels so good like I've just been using ankle weights and like three pound hand weights and um like resistance bands and then obviously I still do my peloton too because I think just I love that thing but I've just been doing a combination of like mat pilates and cycling and like stretching and it just feels really good and I feel good like physically um which is nice like a nice positive despite how I've been feeling but yeah so that's what I did this morning and then I just showered and I didn't wash my hair despite the fact that it really needs to be washed you can't tell because it literally just kept shape when I <laughs> took it out of that clip but I was thinking I was going to wear a hat today I go through phases with hats but I don't know I was kind of feeling it the plan for today is really nothing crazy I am going to um eat some lunch it's almost one o'clock i don't really know what i'm gonna eat but i'll find something and i'm gonna eat some lunch and then edit a vlog because i'm behind because i literally have not done anything all week because i've been in such a rut so i'm gonna edit a vlog and then i will i do want to tighten it one more um and then I'm gonna go and hang out with my girlfriend a little bit later. I think I'm gonna make us dinner. And then I think we're gonna get gelato later because it's Friday. And I think she said she wanted to go to Target. So I'm gonna have a little like afternoon later on. But for now, let's go make some lunch. I don't know why the lighting in every bedroom I have is always like too 
good that I'm like, I look good in my bathroom. <laughs> and then I come in here and I'm like, ew. But I'm trying to figure out what perfume I wanna wear today. I'm wearing the House of Eight Sniff perfume. I went to the um, launch of this, release of this. And it was good. I like it. Also, I don't know if I said, but ignore my washer going. I am washing my sheets. But I also want to talk to you guys about this water bottle. This is not sponsored. Um, but I do have a discount code for you guys, which I feel like I never, I'm not good about reaching out to companies and asking for discount codes for you guys. I don't know why. I'm kind of trying to be better. But um, this company called Bank Water Bottles. First of all, they're so cute, and they sent me a water bottle, and they gave me a link for you guys to use, and I think you get 15% off, maybe 10, I don't remember exactly, but they're so cute, and they come with um, like one of these water bottles, or covers too, so you can screw it on if you wanna like throw it in a bag or something, but I have this like straw lid, and I love it. I think they're really cute, and they don't really look like any other water bottle I can think of, and it, most likely will not fit in my car cup holder. Nothing does though. I swear the one, I love my car and I love Audis in general, but I will say one thing I've noticed about Audis and I've heard other people say as well is there like there's no practical storage. Like there's nowhere to put anything in your car. And the back of my, like I have a, like an SUV. So like I have, space in the back of my car where I can just like always put stuff but like in terms of like small compartments or anything like that like there's nowhere at, there's never anywhere to, anywhere to put why does that sound like not English there isn't ever anywhere to put like sunglasses or water bottles or like like my cup holder does not fit any water bottle like ever and <laughs> like what am I supposed to do you know but and then because there's no compartment for like sunglasses and stuff my sunglasses go like in my car door, but like that's where my big water bottles have to go. Whatever. First world problems, but just ignore me. I'm just just talking away. But I want to tell you guys a couple of things I've been doing recently just for like my health and wellness and whatever. And I also just want to preface like if anything I say like in this realm, nothing's a cure-all, nothing is something I'm gonna do forever and Something I like today, I might not like tomorrow, and I'm not a doctor, I'm not a professional, like this is just what I do that makes me feel good. So take everything I say with a grain of salt and just apply where it makes sense for you or not at all. Um, I'm just kind of talking, sharing, whatever. But obviously drinking a lot of water, especially being diabetic, like it's important to stay hydrated. Um, so that is something that I've obviously been doing and I always do. But a couple other things which I'm gonna do soon is I've been back on my ginger shot kick. I try not to do this for too many consecutive days because it's bad for your teeth, um, all the acid and whatnot. I'm also a seltzer water drinker, which is also bad for your teeth. So I try to be you know, mindful about how much I do. But I do like ginger shots. I don't think they necessarily do too much, but they make me feel good and they just make my stomach feel very like like if I have any sort of like discomfort, it helps my stomach. Like today, I had a lot of cheese last night and I'm not lactose intolerant. Like I can handle dairy pretty well. I'm not someone who like gets super bloated from dairy or anything like that. But um, I had a lot of cheese last night. Like I had pizza and I had, I made jalapeno poppers with cheese and cream cheese. Like I had a lot of cheese and I just feel very like bubbly and gurgly in here today. And whenever I feel like that, I feel that ginger shots just kind of help me feel less like that. It just soothes an upset stomach is what I'm trying to get at. And something else I've been doing is I've been doing a spoonful of this coconut cult yogurt. I won't be doing this like all the time because this is like $15, which is wild. But I just wanted to, honestly, I was ordering, what was I ordering from Air One? I went on Erwan to get something. What did I get? Oh, I wanted canned chicken because I really wanted chicken salad. I ended up being out of canned chicken, so I, they, they gave me tuna. But I wanted like an organic chicken, so that's why I went to Erwan. Like I was Instacarting it, and there was a like there's a limit uh, 
like a minimum that you can spend. So I got this yogurt as well because I've been wanting to try it. And you're, it's just like you're really only, I think you're only supposed to have like two scoops a day. Yeah, there's eight servings in this container. So I just have one scoop a day and it's so yummy and it has so many probiotics in it. And it just like, I don't know if it does anything, but it just me doing it makes me feel like I'm doing something for my health. And additionally, I always have my two Brazil nuts a day, um, which I've been doing for a long time. Brazil nuts contain a lot of selenium and two Brazil nuts apparently has like your daily dose of selenium and apparently we're like deficient in selenium, a lot of us are or something like that. I don't know, that's all stuff I've seen online. But um, you tell me it's good for my health, I'm gonna try it out. So let's do a ginger shot together. Cheers. I'm gonna make like a really yummy, I just scared Augie. Hi, Sarah. I'm gonna make a really yummy little salad for lunch. I've been back on my salad kick. If you guys remember last year, like all last year, my last apartment, I used to make salads like every day. And I'd make my own dressing and everything. And I wanna get back to that. I honestly, like I have everything to make dressing, I could totally do that, but I also have this balsamic vinaigrette, so I'm just gonna have that. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna use this arugula that I have. Arugula is my favorite lettuce. I don't know about you guys, but arugula is my favorite lettuce ever. I love it, it tastes so good. Okay guys, I have like something really weird to say. For some reason, arugula and dance recital smell the same. And I, I can't explain it further, but arugula smell like arugula. Arugula smells like dance recitals. Okay. <laughs> Next, I'm going to add in a scoop of hummus. It's gonna be a super duper simple salad, nothing crazy. I'm gonna add some goat cheese. You don't like goat cheese grow up <laughs> it's so good i love honey so much i used to not i love it now okay i think i'm gonna add some walnuts and then i'm gonna do a chicken sausage cut up i'm gonna heat it up first obviously and then i'm gonna have a couple of jalapeno peppers that are left over probably like oh yeah i'll probably have two probably my lunch with this balsamic vinegar dressing, it'll be so yummy. Okay, I'm going to put all this together and I'll show you guys the final product. I probably should have showed you guys before I mixed it, but it looks so, so, so yummy and I cannot wait to eat it. I'm about halfway done editing my video and I want to make a coffee. So, we shall make one. I Did I show you guys? Got my replacement for my Smeg espresso machine. So I'm gonna make one on or in that. But I'm trying to decide if I want hot or if I want iced. Should I do hot and finally try this out? I never got to try it out because um, my thing broke. So we're gonna try my frother. I don't think I'll need much more than that. I think that's way too much. <laughs> it's steaming, let's pull a shot. I'm multitasking because I want to record the shot being pulled on my phone as well. Okay, finished editing, finished my coffee. There has been a turn of events that ended up resulting in me bawling my eyes out because I'm so stupid. Like I'm literally the clumsiest, klutziest person in the world. I literally I'm not even gonna talk about it. But just know I'm so stupid and I need to stay indoors and wrap myself in bubble wrap so that I can't move and never leave my apartment ever again. But I got a package from Revolve. So I'm gonna show you guys the stuff I got while I'm in a really bad mood. First up, <laughs> got these sunglasses. I love these, they're the brand Le Spec. I've never owned sunglasses from them before, but these are super cute. Really, really like them. The reason I got um, this stuff is because I'm gonna be going to New York for fashion week and 
just wanted to get some cute new stuff. So, yeah. Got a second pair of sunglasses, uh, the brand Air. I haven't tried these on yet. Oh my God, these are super cute. Oh wait, I'm gonna go look in the mirror. Oh, these are super cute. Oh, I love these. Okay, cute. I think this is a dress, which this looks like a very different color than it did online, but whatever. So it's this like, suit jacket dress and it kind of like wraps or it's hard to show you but it like wraps cute okay i even think this with like some sneakers would look cute uh like during the day next up i got a bag because i'm gonna be needing um like a lot of low snacks and stuff just like walking around new york city and also just like for events and stuff like my baggy bag just like isn't the cutest so got this bag from Demillier, Demillier, I don't know how to pronounce it but it's just this big black tote type style bag and I like it it's cute I think it was called like I think it was literally called like New York City something or other New York Hobo with Strap. That's what it's called. I just got this black, I'm really shaky. Um, this black belt, because I don't own a belt. Cute. I shop for a lot of accessories. Hold on, I'm gonna check my blood sugar. Yes, my blood sugar is in fact low. I just had some juice. And now I'm going to continue. Next, I got a new drop clip from Emmy J because I love her drop clips. I thought the red one was cute. I feel so ill right now. We got this really cool, oh, it's not tied right now, but it's this like, it's this, it's a bow. I can't form full sentences right now. It ties, it's cute. Next, I got this white skirt. Figured I could dress it up, dress it down. Cute long skirt. Got this white shirt. Um, thought it was cute and I feel like you could wear it with a lot of stuff. It just looks like this. The last two things, I got two pairs of shoes. First up, I got these really, really cute ballet flats. These are so in right now, but I thought these were super cute. There's like a little ankle strap. Let's try those on. It's so funny how things come in and out of style because like a couple years ago, those would have been so butt ugly and now they're so cute. And last, I got some Tony Bianco heels. I love Tony Bianco. I have a lot of shoes from this designer. Come on. Those are so cute. I'm obsessed with those. I think it's like a pair of jeans. Hello. So cute. Okay, I'm gonna try some stuff on. My one of each shoe on. Um, these are super cute. I'm not used to wearing like just these slip-on heels, but I really like them. I think they're cute. I look like my mother in these shoes. And then these are also super fun. Obviously not with this outfit, but um, with the right outfit, like a little skirt or something, they would be super cute. But they, this shoe right here is a little big, but with the ankle strap, it's fine. It doesn't slip around. So maybe that's like a good thing because it won't give me blisters. Cute, love. Okay, I need you guys to trust the vision with this skirt but it's like very big i got it a size up on purpose but i'm picturing it with some sort of sweater maybe even like my white crochet sweater and um some sneakers like dressing it down so just bear with me because i know it looks like a little shapeless at the moment but i just think it's so cute and honestly it's so comfy it is a little bit sheer so i'm gonna have to figure out the underneath situation but it's cute 
with the right outfit, it'll be perfect. I also tried on the other shoe and I think these are so cute, I love them. Okay, I feel like a lot of you are gonna hate this. However, I think it's cute. I've been having a lot of fun exploring like fashion and I don't know, I just, no, not just like the basics. And I think this is adorable. I still think I would do different shoes. Probably like, mm, even like a cowgirl boot would be cute. But I love this. I feel so pretty and it's so fun and so me. So I just added this little belt that I got like I showed you guys. I love this. Even like with my hair half up, half, half, up, half down or something. I think this is really cute. So this might be an outfit that I wear. Here's the next dress. This would be obviously for something, I don't know, like a little more formal. Like this wouldn't just be a casual dinner, obviously, but I think this is super cute. It's like a fun twist to just like your basic blazer situation or even like your basic dress. Like it's a nice cocktail length dress. Like this would be for like something very professional, like a show of some sort or like a nice dinner, something like that. My hair slicked back. I don't think I'd wear these shoes with it, but I just wanted to try it on with some heels, but this is super cute. I love this. For dinner tonight, I am going to make feta pasta again, but I'm gonna do it a little bit different. I have some ideas. So I'm gonna do the usual, the feta, the tomatoes, the basil, um, olive oil, garlic, all that. I'm gonna, do, oops, I'm gonna do minced garlic again, but I'm also going to do fresh garlic because I have some. So I'm gonna add that. I'm also gonna add a little bit of red onion, and I'm also gonna add bits of bacon. So I'm gonna cook, cook up, I think, two slices of bacon and add them in already cooked because then they'll be nice and crispy. And I think it's gonna kind of give like feta pasta mixed with like spaghetti carbonara type vibe. So that's what I'm hoping for. And then I'm going to use this same lentil pasta again. And I'm also gonna have a piece of salmon. Um, but that sounds yum. So let me get and I like to cook it in this when I do it in the air fryer and I line it. I'm sure you could not line it, but honestly, it makes the cleanup process so easy. So, I'm going to put it in there. But let's first cut up everything we need to cut. Or should I put the bacon on first? Let me put the bacon on. I think what I want soon is to um, up my pan game because for as often as I cook, well, I have really nice pans, but they're just old now. And I think I could use a pan refresh, a pan refresh and a knife refresh. I think I could benefit from both of those. But um, it's just like, you just like, why would I go out of my way to buy pans when I have ones that are perfectly fine, but would just, you know, I could just benefit from better ones. Or not even better, because they were once good, but they're just like almost five, four, five years old, which I guess actually isn't that long. People keep pans for a really long time, don't they? Well, they're in really great shape. I just, okay, maybe I just want new pants. But these were gifts to me, which makes me not want to um, get new pants. I think my aunt gave them to me. I'm pretty positive. Like way back when in like 2020. Okay, they're only three years old. I'm so dramatic. Maybe I just need some new pants. <laughs> so like, like some different pants that I don't already have. Like, you know those flat ones that like you can cook like grilled cheeses and stuff on? Or like paninis or whatever? Not paninis, because then you use a panini. For I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't want to do too, too much onion because I don't want it to like overpower but I do want a decent amount, but I feel like that's good. We'll get the flavor in there without it, you know, taking over. So that's that. And then put this back in here. Let me add the bacon to the pan. 
because it's been heating up for a sec. And I want that to crisp up real nice, so I'm gonna leave it there for a good bit. Um, also, when I cook bacon at home, I do try, well, first of all, I like to get the no sugar bacon for blood sugar purposes, and then I also try to get as natural as I can get. So this one has less sodium, has no nitrates or nitrates added, except for those naturally occurring in sea salt, it says. Um, I don't know. It's still bacon, but <laughs> I like to tell myself it's like a little bit better for my heart and arteries, you know? But then I'm gonna cut up some fresh bacon, <laughs> fresh bacon, fresh garlic, and I'll show you guys once everything's like all in together. I have an open bottle of Sauvignon Blanc from when I made the shrimp dinner that I made the other night. And I figured I would finish it off. Well, I don't think I'm gonna finish this off tonight. <laughs> But I just figured I would have a glass because I don't want it to go to waste. It's literally open and that's what always happens. I'll open a bottle of wine for like wine night with my friends or if I cook with it and I don't touch it and it sits in my fridge for months and months. So might as well. Having a pasta dinner Friday night. We'll have a little glass, a little cup. <laughs> we have the pasta going and I'm gonna check on the feta situation more seconds and once the feta's done I'm gonna cook my salmon and that's kind of like how the cookie crumbles and I might make a little side salad just like arugula and uh, parmesan salad because I have a lemon I feel like I could utilize that you know okay let me check the feta pasta it is looking pretty dang good <laughs> this is the dangerous part where all the tomatoes kind of just like pop out at ya. But I'm going to keep mixing this all up and then when the pasta's done, I will add it. Here it is, all mixed in. It looks really good. Look at my sink of dishes. I need to do those. But now I'm going to do the salad. So I already did some lemon, some olive oil, balsamic glaze salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning. And now I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle kind of a lot of, okay, not the whole chunk, <laughs> kind of a lot of Parmesan. I need to break it up. Okay. And then I'm going to mix her around. Oops. There is the salad all complete. Finished product. Salmon came out good. Guys, guess what we just did? We just bought tickets to go see Blackpink tomorrow. Look at Mr. Dangle. <laughs> Guys, as I was saying, <laughs> We impulsively got tickets to see Blackpink tomorrow. I'm so excited because I have this pink sparkly shirt. I've showed you guys it before. And I never have anywhere to wear it. And I will be wearing it tomorrow. <laughs> Augie's being crazy right now. We're gonna go get gelato tonight. I'm gonna get pistachio, tiramisu, and I really hope they have that cookie one again that I got last time. That's her opponent. She's going with this to me. Hey, you do that sometimes. You look so funny. You're surprised over and over again. <laughs> I kind of look like Brandon. <laughs> Me too. Guys, there's a kitten. 
No, don't get hit by a car. Another night of gelato and another night of giving her. Oh! oh. <laughs> Never mind. Giving her my wafer. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> um, today I got pistachio and tiramisu again, but then I also got milk chocolate pretzel. And it's so good. All right. Hi guys. Ignore my hair right now. <laughs> it's a little bit crazy, but it's the next morning and I'm making myself some oatmeal. I just put a little bit of stevia in the raw into the oats and I'll show you guys kind of like how I make my oats. I had a really nice morning also. Sorry, laundry's going. Had a really nice morning. I stayed at my girlfriend's house last night and this morning we walked the dogs and then we went and got coffee and now I'm back here um, making myself some oats. It's pretty much lunchtime, but that's all right. And tonight, as you guys heard me say yesterday, um, we are going to go see Blackpink and I'm so excited. But I do my oats and then I put some hemp seeds on top. And I'm going to do some walnuts. Put in these blackberries. Lovely, lovely. And I'm going to do a little bit of cinnamon. I'm going to take this coconut cult yogurt and put my daily scoop in there. And lastly, I'm going to take some peanut butter. Drizzle that all over. <laughs> lots and lots of it. Yum! And then last step, I'll show you guys. Last step I like to do is pour a little bit of milk on top. It makes it so yummy. I don't know about you guys. I need a shower, I'm scary. But unpacking is like my least favorite thing ever. Also, I started a new book. I don't know if I mentioned that, ew, look at my toothbrush, it's like gross. I don't know if I mentioned that I finished Malibu Rising. It was cute. Not my favorite book ever, but it was good. Um, I'm reading Never Lie by Frida McFadden. I've heard multiple people talk about this. I'm only like a chapter and a half in, but it, I really like it so far. And I don't know why I always pack books when I'm like staying over somewhere because I read at night by myself. But anytime I'm like traveling or like at someone else's house or anything like that, like what is that on the floor? I literally have no idea what that was on the floor. But whenever I'm like not at home, I never actually read. So I don't know why I always bring my book with me, but it's really good so far. This is more of like a psychological thriller rather than like, I feel like I read a lot of like love story type vibes, but I'm really liking it so far. So I've been so into reading and finishing a book is like the satisfaction my brain needs lately. But I hate, um, ow. <laughs> I hate unpacking. Like it makes me not ever want to go anywhere. <laughs> That's a lie. I actually was saying this morning, there's so many like random places I want to go. Like I of course always want to go to, you know, the tropical places, Europe, all the things like that. But I also like, I want to go to like Wyoming and like, I want to go to like Yosemite and just like Montana, just all the places like that I'm craving. So I was saying I think that's going to be next year's thing because I have done a lot of travel this year and I have something every month for the rest of the year. So I don't know if I can fit in <laughs> anything else, but um, anyways, I'm going to unpack and then I think I'm going to do a quick little yoga flow. Today's Saturday. Normally I would go to like Pilates or something, but my 
body's just kind of sore. I'm not really in the mood. And I just want to do some yoga. My body's been really craving yoga. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to shower. And then, like, honestly, probably start kind of getting ready somewhat soon. Not actually. Like, it's only, like, it's, it's noon right now. I won't start getting ready until, like, 3 or something. But, like, by the time I do all that, like, I probably will only have a couple hours of downtime. Eh, I might get ready at, like, yeah, like, 3, 3.30. And we're getting dinner tonight at this place called Bakari. I'm really excited. It looks really good. And I'm excited to go to this concert. I love concerts so much. Oh, I also got a couple of candles at Target last night. I got these two pumpkin candles because I think they look cute on here and also they smell really good. So I got the, which one was this? Now I don't remember, but they're like, You'll see them at Target. They look like this. <laughs> did I show you guys this mirror either? I think I did, but I got this mirror from Amazon. I will link it. I love it, and it's really good for outfit pictures and whatnot. But I'm going to unpack. I also have to make my bed because my duvet cover is finished drying, so i got to put that on my bed and get the day going. ginger shot while I'm at it. Cheers. This is going to taste awful because I just had yummy orange juice. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is shower and then while my hair dries a little bit, I'll make my bed and do some laundry. Then I'll do my hair and yeah, that's the plan. But I did a little 20 minute yoga flow. You guys saw a little bit of it. My camera died like a little bit into it. Oh my God, my hair is so scary. Imagine if my hair was this short. I would have an identity crisis. I like, I know it's not good, but like my confidence stems directly from my hair. Like if I didn't like my hair again, it would not be good. Okay, I have like trauma from when it was blonde and damaged and it looked like a rat. I'm gonna take a nice warm shower. I'm not gonna shave or anything because I just did yesterday, but I am gonna wash my hair because my God, is it dirty. <laughs> that was such a good shower. I did like a hair mask, so I look crazy. I did a hair mask, so I was in there for like a minute. I showed you guys the hair mask that I use in a recent vlog, so. It's the Amika soul food one, but it's linked in another video if you guys want to go check that out. But I just took the best shower and I was so cold beforehand. I took like the warmest shower ever and now I am getting in some warm cozy clothes as if it's not 90 degrees outside. <laughs> but I have oof, hair in my mouth. I have um, a tank top underneath for when I have to take Augie out, but I'm just in a full aloe. It's not a set, but an aloe crew neck, well, sweater, crew neck sweater. It's not like a sweatshirt, but, and then aloe sweatpants. And I'm going to throw on these red Skims socks. I think that these are just the darndest things. I think they are so cute. I don't know why red socks with an all black outfit. It's so cute to me. It's giving contemporary dancer. Oh, I'm cozy. I'm really cozy. And I don't even think I'm going to do my eyebrows. I might just brush them because I'm going to do my makeup like 
in a couple hours and I'm not going anywhere or seeing anyone besides you guys until then. So if my eyebrows look crazy, don't say a word. I am so excited for the place we're going for dinner tonight. I think it's going to be so good. I get such weird texts. I get texts about party buses in Boca Raton, <laughs> Florida. <laughs> and like Tampa college things. I don't know, I get the weirdest text messages. Anyways. I do make my bed, I'm like procrastinating it and putting my laundry away because you guys know that is my least favorite thing ever. But I will say, doing what I've been doing where I do my clothing laundry on Fridays, my sheets on Saturdays, my towels on Sundays, it has made the laundry seem a lot less daunting. What I really should be doing is putting away my laundry on Saturdays but I just didn't happen yesterday because I was having a good day until I wasn't. But then it ended off good. I made a really yummy dinner you guys saw. I got gelato, hung out. Like it ended up being a good night, but mentally I just had like, I was ha trying really hard to have a good day and then I ended up having like a really, really bad day. And then I was like discouraged that that happened and whatever. But I am feeling pretty okay this morning. I woke up on the right side of the bed. Did I tell you guys I had a nightmare last night though? I don't think I told you. I did. I had a nightmare. And it was horrifying. And I do this thing, if I'm having like a really bad dream, I talk in my sleep and like that's what wakes me up. Like I'll wake up sobbing sometimes. Like I'll be crying in my dream and I'll wake up actually crying out loud. Like kind of like scream crying. And then last night I woke myself up yelling because there was a man <laughs> in my dream. And uh, it was so spooky. Let me tell you about it. So I, in the dream, like got home, but it like, wasn't my home, but I was like home. And I like, went to go turn the lights on. There was like a light switch by the door. I think actually like where I was at in my dream was like the Airbnb I stayed at in June. You guys remember that? But anyways, I like went to go turn the lights on. They were right by the door and the lights wouldn't turn on. And I like looked up and there was like, I never saw his face the whole um, dream or like any details. He was just his outline the whole time. But I saw him like coming towards me and I started to scream, but I couldn't scream. Of course, it's a dream. And I couldn't run i was just like frozen i was like lights don't turn on and i'm like screaming and then all of a sudden we're like leaned up against a wall like i'm leaning it was weird it's such it was such a dream dream we, it was like a bed but it was like diagonal against the wall and i was like leaning against the wall and he was right there and i just kept screaming there's a man there's a man and i woke up screaming there's a man <laughs> so my girlfriend was probably like are you okay this morning though, she's like, yeah, I heard you talking. But I'm telling you guys, like, I do it, like, not that rarely. Like, I wake up, I have nightmares, and I wake up, um, like, screaming. <laughs> but I think part of, like, I know that, like, chocolate gives me bad dreams, and, like, sh I think sugar gives me bad dreams. And I had a little blood sugar, like, at 1 a.m. last night, and I had, like, juice and some freeze-dried blueberries, like, um, literally like at like 1 or 2 a.m. and then went to sleep so that's probably why I had nightmares also because I've been having <laughs> real life nightmares happening in real life um, but what am I even saying? It was scary but I think that's why because of the sugar before bed but like I can't really do anything about that I'm just glad I wasn't alone because it was one of those ones where it was like like actually really, really scary and then I woke up like still scared. Like I had to go to the bathroom when I woke up, but I didn't get up because I was afraid of like the same scenario happening in that bathroom. <laughs> so I just held my pee all night. I also have to get my eyebrows in really bad, but I'm holding off because I'm going to be going to New York for fashion week and um, I... Oops. I want to get them done like shortly before, so I'm like holding off. 
also my skin I okay here's my thing you guys I purchased the clear stem vitamins I don't know if you guys have heard about these but they're supposed to help with hormonal acne but I really just don't like taking medicine but these are like more of a supplement than a medicine like you don't have to be prescribed it and I've heard really good things from people I follow online so it's like how truthful is it but they're not working with them so I'm hoping they're being truthful and I think they are um, and I, I think I might give them a try I'm just like scared so they've been sitting here for like two weeks <laughs> but anyways okay I'm gonna go make my bed do my hair and then after I do my hair, I probably will make a coffee. You guys, I'm having such a good hair day. Yeehaw! I need to go get my hair oil that I ordered because mine shattered from the lobby of my apartment. But that's gonna wake Avi up and then I'm gonna have to take him out. <laughs> I don't want to because he's sleeping right now and I have stuff to do and so I like when he's sleeping but uh, anyways I just turned on my straightener because I just want to get some of the front pieces I do this every once in a while there's so much hair all over my sink um, I'll do this I'll just go in right here and because my baby hair is just will still kind of like stick to my head even after I blow out my hair so just quick and easy like that done and dusted it's 2 20 now it's making good time I did half my laundry I just have to put the stuff that goes in my closet into my closet but it's all like sectioned out but I'm having such a good hair day and it makes me so very happy. Okay, gonna make a coffee. And I just realized I always film so much content in my kitchen. Like always. Even like, not just here, like literally like always. <laughs> Have you guys noticed that? I'm like always in my kitchen. And I'm gonna make an ice latte today so you know what that means. I can use my ice scooper for the first time. Ice in cup. And I'm gonna do this unsweetened almond milk from, unsweetened vanilla almond milk from Trader Joe's. Do about that much. I'm trying to decide if I should put any flavoring in my coffee, but I'm gonna first pour some shots. You wanna see? Watch how yummy it looks. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks so good. And I'm gonna do a second shot as well. Let's stir her up, shall we? Need to get a straw. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, I think I am gonna do a little a little treat I have not even a treat I have these sweet drops they're stevia flavor drops they're they taste so sweet you only need like the tiniest bit like they're so sweet tasting but they're so yummy I got those last year like right after I was diagnosed and mm, this is so yummy Mm -mm. Yum. It's 3.38 right now. Our reservations are for dinner are at 6.15. We have to leave like 30 minutes before, so that's like 5.30, 5.45. So I have two hours to get ready, but I'm excited. So I'm going to do my makeup. I don't want to because I feel like good right now and my hair looks good and like I just don't feel the need to wear makeup but you know what we're gonna anyways so 
I've already shown you guys my makeup recently. So I'm not going to show you again. I forgot I had a zit that big because I had a pimple patch on it and it makes it look so much less noticeable. But I don't know what I'm going to do for my makeup. Nothing crazy. I'm not going to do foundation. I'm just going to do the Glossy Skin Tint and a little bit of bronzer. Honestly, just like the same old, but nothing like major. But also something fun, you know? Saturday night, I want to feel good. So, I'll show you guys my makeup when I finish. Also, I'm deciding what jeans I want to wear, so they're hanging right there. <laughs> makeup is pretty much done. I did very natural, nothing crazy. I'm gonna spray on some Rare Beauty setting spray. And then, so for my bag, I can bring any bag because it's a medical bag for me, which is like <laughs> the one perk of being a type of diabetic is stuff like this, like concerts and whatnot. Um, I don't have a bag restriction. So I could just pack my bagu, but I kind of want to bring this new bag that you guys saw I got because it's just like a little bit cuter. And like, why not? But at the same time, actually, yeah, it's like kind of perfect. Okay, we're gonna do that. So, um, I'm gonna pack my purse for the night while also doing my lips because my lips are in um, my bag from the last time that I did them. But I'll show you guys like what's in my bag for well, kind of always, but for the concert. I'm gonna put my finger pricker and the test strips, my wallet and keys. Mm. I'll bring some gum. And then here's my lippy. So I'm gonna do my Pillow Talk lip liner. And I'm gonna do the Watermelon Road. So I'm just gonna bring those two with me. I'll leave the other ones in my bag, but I am gonna take out. I have like so many lip products in here because I always forget to take them out. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna bring my insulin. Do I have enough in there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Insulin in the zipper pouch because we don't wanna risk losing that. Don't need any tampons. I'm gonna take my low snacks. So I'm gonna just bring a lot, obviously. So four honey packets. Some, how many glucose tablets? Okay, a few glucose tablets. This looks concerning. I'm gonna get a new vial of insulin. That one's really old. I don't think that's still good. Um, this is like my backup, my just in case. Well, it is my just in case. I literally have insulin, so I'll just bring it. Um, I don't need hand sanitizer, that's fine. I'll grab the last juice box that I have in my fridge. I'm like, I, I'm so type A and I've learned with my diabetes, I just like to have enough low snacks to get me to more low snacks, if that makes sense. Which I know isn't like the best, safest thing, but like, you, I just have to carry so much all the time. Sometimes I just, I just gotta, whatever. Also, I did like uh, like a greenish eyeshadow, and I don't know how I feel about it, but whatever. Okay, so that's everything that I need from that bag. And then um, a tip my diabetic friends gave me is so that I don't get, get given a hard time. Throw I'm gonna throw like an Omnipod in here, um, so that they can't argue that it's a medical bag because it is. So, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna bring that bag, but I'm obviously going to have to do my lips again before I leave, but I'm just gonna do it now because I wanna get the final look. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. And I'm not really, I wouldn't say I'm overlining. I'm just like going around 
the very edge and then smudging it out. And I don't really do the corners. I just kind of do the, the middle part. I guess on the bottom I kind of do, but okay. The reason I did the greenish eyeshadow is because, can you even tell? Probably can't. But the reason I did that is because my shirt I'm wearing right here has like, it's pink, but it has like green sparkles, you can see. So I figured that would be cute. And then over top, for some reason, this road lip treatment, lip peptide lip treatment looks so pretty on top of just like a lined lip. I wouldn't say this is my favorite lip product for like making my lips not dry, but I will say it is so pretty. Okay. And the watermelon one tastes so good. I'm gonna throw these in my bag. And there's even a little pouch for my Omnipod, like literally a little right here. So, I'm done with my makeup. I usually will touch up my hair, but I don't really think I want to. I just want to leave it because I like how it looks. I kind of want to straighten this weird curl going on here though. <laughs> I still have to also decide which jeans I want to wear and which shoes I want to wear. But I know I'm wearing this long sleeve sparkle shirt, which I'm so happy I finally have a use for. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with these jeans right here, which you guys have seen. They're like my goldy like cross waist jean. I'm pretty sure I'm going with those. And I'm pretty sure I want to do a heel, but I also really want to be comfortable. So I will most likely be going with a black boot, like I always do, but it's just what's comfiest, you know? I'm excited. Guys, <laughs> look at this crime scene. I need to, I just realized I have to hurry because I still have to feed Augie and take him out before we have to go. But I cut this shirt, which, how cute does it look? Actually, I cut it, then I cut it more and messed it up. And then Anna helped me to save the day. But isn't this so cute? I love this outfit. Please accept my apology. I vlogged nothing tonight. But the reason for that is because, one, I was living in the moment, but two, I didn't know if I was gonna be allowed to bring my camera in, so I didn't wanna chance it. So I didn't bring it with me at all. But let me give you a night recap because, oh my God, it was such a fun night. So. First and foremost, we got dinner at this place called Bakari. I think I was calling it Bakari, but it's Bakari. I think that's how you pronounce it. You guys, my favorite restaurant, like not just in LA, not just in the state of California, literally my favorite restaurant ever. Everything was phenomenal. Like, like 10 out of 10. I, favorite restaurant like I was like speechless I've never had food that good in my life and it's like small plates so you get like to get so many different things which I love so we had oh my god literally so like I can't even begin we had so many things we had uh kale salad we had burrata we had falafel we had um stuffed mushrooms we had um shawarma tacos and we had salmon then we had bread pudding you guys everything was amazing all even like down to the dessert i had a couple glasses of sauvignon blanc and it was amazing it was so good and then the concert was so fun you guys like i think it takes a very talented performer to entertain someone who like doesn't know many of the songs and like I really only know like the super duper popular Blackpink songs and like only like certain parts of the songs but the whole concert I literally like my job was like the whole concert they are 
insane performers, like crazy good concert. The only other concert that I felt that way about was when I saw Taylor Swift, like years and years and years and years ago. I saw, I don't forget what tour it was, but it was when Ed Sheeran opened for her. Like it was so long ago. I think I was in high school, but her like show, her performance was so good. One Direction is also really good. Billie Eilish is also really good. Like performers, but these girls are like crazy. Like their show where there was like fireworks and lights and like confetti, insane. Not to mention, and I got the tickets. I like paid her for my ticket obviously, but like I didn't see what seats we had. And no one told me that she was buying like almost floor seats. I was like, girl, what? Like we had like really good, it was just so fun. And it's like, it made me really happy seeing her really happy. Cause she's like a very big Blackpink fan. And it just made me happy seeing her so excited. Um, but like, I, I've, like I, I like the music and I've, I've watched them perform like through video and like I watched their Coachella live stream and like it was really good so I was expecting good and they like went above and beyond like it was amazing. So I got a t-shirt naturally because it was a great concert so I have to remember it. I just got the tour shirt in an XL but literally such a good day after having a really horrible week <laughs> and I, I can't, like, you guys, you have to go to Bakari. 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 So good. Like, you have to go and you have to get the, you have to get the bread pudding for dessert, but you also have to try the salmon and you have to get the burrata and you have to get the, the kale salad because all, like, those are my favorite, but the short, everything was so good. My least favorite was the falafel. It was a little bit too salty but everything else was so good. The salmon when it came out was like still so hot, which I feel like I was saying, you never really get, like when you whenever you get salmon, it cools off so quickly. So like by the time you get it at a restaurant or even like when I make it myself, like it's never like hot, hot. Like it's always like a nice warm temperature, but never like hot. It was like steaming hot still. Oh my God, it was so good. It was cooked so good, probably to like 140 degrees, which like if you cook salmon, like 145 is considered done, but like if you cook it like a little bit less, it's like really good. It was just so good, you guys. Like I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. But I need to take my makeup off and get ready for bed. It's 1 a.m. Like what? I feel like I'm in college. And get in bed and read <laughs> a little bit to put myself to sleep because I'm like so adrenaline rushed. I'm like gonna fall asleep and I'm so tired. But you know, like when you're on like a concert high, oh my God, speaking of high, my blood sugar was crazy the whole concert. And then like high just from like the bread pudding and whatever. And we were like leaving and I had like, you know, a diabetic thirst, like intense thirst. And um the uber situation was like crazy obviously leaving the concert and we were gonna have to like walk like 15 minutes to get an uber and i was like i need like not to like not to be this person but like i need water right now like i'm not just thirsty like i i, I seriously need water if you're diabetic like you know that feeling like it's not just like i'm thirsty i need water it's like no like i, I need water right now and um i had to go back into the stadium and I I went up to the guy and I was like um hey do you have any is there anywhere or I was like is there a medical tent where I can get water for medicine because <laughs> like I didn't want to explain it and he's like there's a fountain whatever so I ended up being able to go to the water fountain and like back into the stadium oh my god real quick before I go to bed so like if you guys have been watching my videos for a long time you would know like there's a trend of like people being like really disrespectful towards like the needs of a diabetic like TSA is always super rude about like hand checking my medical devices and things like that which like have to be hand checked but ugh, whatever anyways um I I've mastered what to say to TSA and like I can predict what they are gonna say to me and so like I've gotten really good at just being like whatever but tonight, so like I was telling you guys, there's no bag requirement at all for 
a medical bag. It can be any size. And the guy today, he's like, your bag's too big. Well, first the woman was like, your bag's too big. And I was like, oh, it's a medical bag. And she was like, okay, they're gonna have to check it. I was like, yeah, of course. So then we go to the guy and he's like, your bag's too big. I was like, oh, it's a medical bag. And he's like, let me see your medicine. And I open it and I'm like, the thing about diabetics and it's like so frustrating, like type one diabetes is like, if you don't already know, like it's like really honestly, like it sounds so stupid when you explain it, but like, the whole bag is my medical bag because I have juice in case I have low blood sugar and I have candy in case I have low blood sugar. I have honey in case I have low blood sugar. I have an extra Omnipod. I have my PDM, like my Omnipod controller. I have an insulin needle in case I need it. I have a vial of insulin. I have another vial of insulin in case I need it. I have like so much like stuff, like the whole bag besides my camera and my wallet is medical, but I was like, he's like, show me your medicine. And I start, I was like, I'm like, start, I start pointing stuff out and he's like, okay, next time just like, you need to have a smaller bag, you can fit in a smaller bag. And I was like, it's a medical bag. He was like, next time it needs to be in a smaller bag. I was like, no, it's, it's a medical bag. And he's like, next time it just has to be in a smaller bag. And I was like, okay, it's a, just a medical bag. It doesn't have to. <laughs> I know like I didn't have to say anything back to him but I'm just like you can't tell me where and how I package my medical supplies sir there's no requirement so respectfully suck an egg I'm gonna wash my face I love you all so much um and I will talk to you guys so super soon in the next video, which I think will be tomorrow for a Sunday reset because you guys all really love those.